we need a greater power. Some of you right now in the room, you're like, Matt, man, I would, I would love, I would love nothing more than for God to meet me where I am, but you don't know the forces that control my life. You don't know the power that my brokenness from my childhood has over me. You don't know. You don't know how that relationship that I was in, and I don't talk about it right now, a lot right now. But man, I was, I, I want, there was a time when I was in a relationship and I gave and I gave and I gave and then it was at the end and now I'm like, kind of like Samaritan woman, like I, I guess this is the one that I have, it is what it is and I'm just gonna make do. Some of you have really felt the weight some of the unanswered questions have just gone on for so long, but there's just power and it's the voices and it's the stuff and it's the weight. It's just always feeling like your life is headed in this direction and you're just like, man, I, God, I need you, but I don't just need you. I need your power. I need you to show up. I need you to shift my world because I can't do it and I'm overwhelmed and I don't know how to do this. It'd be great if I could just, you know, start at the beginning. It'd be great if I could get plugged into a source, but I'm just telling you the forces that are driving my life, I can't make them stop. I keep trying. And the King of Kings would say, watch what I can do. Mark chapter five. If you don't know the story, again, read the story. I don't have time to unpack all of it, but Mark chapter five says, when they came to Jesus, and this was the crowd, remember this is the naked demoniac. You think you got issues. <laughs> when they came to Jesus, they saw the man who had been possessed, had been at the end, had been overwhelmed, had been off on his own, had been totally disconnected, had been. Like, this is a man, not just like a little bit of time. We don't know how long, but you don't get into a wreck like that without having a whole lot of history. But all of a sudden we ran into the man who had been possessed by the legion of demons. It's part of why if some of you are going, oh, that one's me and that one's me, is because we don't, most of us don't have one thing's thing. We have a lot of things. But all of a sudden he's, because he met Jesus on his knees. There he was sitting there and dressed and in his right mind. Now I'm just here to tell you whether it's a snap, now I don't get it, but sometimes he gives a snap and it happens. He's the boss, he does what he chooses. Sometimes it's over time as he slowly pulls you out of that thing and re works your mind and you walk through that process of transformation. But what I know about Jesus is that when you get to the feet of Jesus, chains drop, addictions break, voices flee. 